Hi guys. Now, today is story time. The year is 1977. A black man is convicted of sexual assault. Well, two twins, that is uh, Sharon and Karen, had accused um, had accused Vincent Simeon of sexual assault. Upon investigation, it was found that um, that Vincent had committed a crime and he was convicted. Well, during investigation, the two twins had told the police that um, that Vincent had forcefully taken them and even gave them his name. And I'm here wondering how would someone who wants to harm you, someone who wants to hurt you, give out their name to you, the victim? Anyway, guys, I digress. So according to the two twins, Vincent had forcefully taken them to a country road and that is where he, com he committed the heinous crime. And after he was convicted, it was found that uh, it was determined through a private investigator that Vincent never committed uh, the, the, the crime. It was actually the cousin to the twins. It was Keith. Keith was 19 year old and the twins were 15 year olds. And according to another cousin of Keith, she told the private investigator that it was Keith who was with the twins the night that uh, the twins were sexually assaulted. And Keith had confessed to his cousin that he was the one who had consensual sex with one of the twins. But the twins told lies to the police because they were protecting Keith because obviously Keith was their cousin. So so Vincent ended up spending 44 years in prison, then released by, uh, by one judge who believed that he was never given a fair trial. And we are here wondering, what a cruel world. Why would you send someone to prison through te by telling lies? I want you people to have a glimpse of what happened to, to Vincent. Then later, I'm going to give my two cents on this story. Yeah, so let's watch we are following breaking news. A black man who was found guilty of attempted rape in 1977 has just been freed after a Louisiana judge ruled he did not get a fair trial. Vincent Simmons was serving a 100-year prison sentence for the attempted aggravated rape of twin 14-year-old girls. He was convicted by a jury of 11 white, 11 white men and one black woman, Simmons says, he did not commit this crime. Two weeks after the incident, they told police they were forcibly taken by a black man to a country road and sexually assaulted. The sisters say Simmons gave them his name during the attack, but the women never gave that name to police. They also never gave a detailed description of their alleged attacker apart from his race. And they said, quote, all blacks look alike. During Simmons' time in prison, he obtained information not presented at his trial, including a file of medical of a medical examination conducted on the sisters, which revealed there was no evidence of sexual assault. Simmons has served 44 years of his sentence after trying nearly 16 times to get his conviction thrown out. And Vincent served 44 years here at Louisiana State Penitentiary, but he was supposed to serve 100. That was the sentence. For the last 30 or so years, he kept trying to tell judges, I didn't get a fair trial and here's the information. And they just dismissed him left and right. Get out of here, get out of here. But yesterday there was a judge who said to him, I believe that you did not get a fair trial. In fact, that judge's daddy nearly 30 years ago dismissed Vincent's attempt. But this judge said, your rights were denied. They were violated and you get a fair trial. And His accusers, Sharon and Karen Sanders, now 59 years old, decided to stand down. He went in guilty, he's guilty now, and guess die what, guilty. he will die guilty. You ready? So okay. I'm, oh, I'm ready. happy, yeah. I got 44 years. All right. Let's go. Where at sunset, Vincent Simmons walked out oh, yeah. of the place he has been held in since he was 25 years old. Hey man, I want Yeah, yeah! Vindicated. Yeah. Vincent was found guilty in 1977 in Marksville, Louisiana, of two counts of attempted aggravated rape and sentenced to 100 years in prison. I was shot guilty. I did none. 
A judge vacated his conviction after finding that Vincent did not receive a fair trial, though the judge did not make a finding as to whether or not Vincent is innocent or guilty. But identical twins Karen and Sharon Sanders insist that Vincent raped them when they were 14 years old and he was 25. I know exactly who raped me that night. The twins say they were with their then 18-year-old cousin Keith Laborde when they encountered Vincent at a gas station and Keith agreed to give Vincent a ride. They say Vincent directed them to this road where he forced Keith into the trunk of the car and then raped the two of them. The limitations it put on our life, like with the anxiety, it's taken a lot from us. I looked at the discovery, I was like, well, everything they said at trial is a lie. It's all a lie. Justin Bonus, Vincent Simmons' current attorney, is skeptical. He believes that the twins are lying to protect Keith Laborde. Wake me right now. Keith's cousin, Dana Brouillette, told a private investigator in 2020 and swore in an affidavit that Keith admitted to her that Vincent Simmons was never with them that night. He came out and told me there was never a black man. Instead, in that affidavit, Dana says that Keith told her he had consensual sex with one of the girls and locked the other in the trunk. And he locked Sharon in the trunk and he said the sex between him and Karen was consensual. He said that the other one was a little hellcat. That's the one that put scratches on his neck. In the affidavit, Dana says that Keith had scratches on his neck. She told the private investigator that she believes Keith and the twins made up the story about a black man to explain away those scratches. Karen and Sharon deny that. But in a stunning admission, Karen does acknowledge having had consensual sex with Keith years before the twins say they were attacked. But that has nothing to do with what Vincent did. That's two separate incidents. I called Keith to ask him about all of this. Hello, Keith. This is David Begno with CBS News. Keith, now 63 years old, denied ever having sex with Karen. He said they just, quote, played around like children, end quote. And he also insisted that whatever had happened between the two of them had nothing to do with what Vincent Simmons did that night. That is guilty. I don't give a And yeah, he's a And you can put that on TV. I ain't scared of him. So I'm here wondering, what if it was a white man who was wrongly convicted? Would the, the judges keep on dismissing uh, his attempt for a fair trial? Would they listen to him? These two women, even after Kate was found not, after Vincent was found not guilty, they kept on, uh, they doubled the lies. They kept on insisting that he was the one who, uh, who raped them. What if it was two black women doing the same to a black to a white guy? Would the guy, uh, would they give the white guy a fair trial, or would they treat him the same way that Vincent was treated? This just shows how cruel some people can be out there, how selfish human beings can be. It's very much okay for you to see someone going to jail for a hundred years for by you telling lies. And even after 44 years, this man ended up forgiving these two women. He ended up forgiving them. It's not everyone can do that, not even me. I wouldn't forgive anyone who sent me to jail for 44 years because this is depriving me of my life. Being in jail for 44 years, a lot has happened. This guy has missed a lot. I would never forgive anyone who would do that, uh, the same thing to me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. But this man forgave these two women. And remember, during investigation, the two ladies had told the police that the black man had given out his name, but they never provided the name to the police. And the police didn't even question that. They didn't even raise eyebrows. They, they just sent an innocent man to prison for 44 years. All the two ladies said was, they know it was a black man because all black men look alike. They kept on saying that he was guilty and they know that he was the one who committed that act. How cruel, how evil are some people out there. You're just okay sending someone to prison for 44 years, depriving someone his life. Because tell me, 
when you go to prison, what more? Because there is nothing you can enjoy in, in prison. Nothing. You don't know what's happening outside. You don't know how the world has developed. You've missed a lot in life. Just because someone wanted to, wanted to see you in prison for something that you, did, you didn't do. And this man came. He went on living his life as if nothing happened. He didn't even want to come out and tell the truth. We could blame this on age because they, they were all young. They were all young, including Vincent, who was the innocent one here. They were all young. We could blame that on age. But even in their 60s and 70s or 50s, I don't know how old they are now, but even at their old age, they couldn't come out and say that it was lies that they came up with. They were young. We would understand that. We would, we would understand that these people were young and foolish. They would say anything, but they couldn't. They kept on doubling the lies. If it wasn't for this judge who felt like Vincent wasn't given a, a fair trial, today Vincent would, would be in prison. A hundred years, you are born to spend your life in prison. It's very unfair to some people out here. This only shows how some these people, how some of these people are cruel, how evil they can be. I don't think I would forgive anyone for sending me to prison. I would even for a month, I would not forgive any anyone for sending me to prison. Even for a day, I wouldn't. Because why would you send me to prison for something I didn't do? But this man, Vincent, he, he has a heart, a very big heart. He's one of very few people who would forgive people for doing such thing to them. It's just sad how the world is cruel to some people.